Welcome to That Cotton Candy Hair. This is Joe from That Cotton Candy Hair. And this is Rada from That Cotton Candy Hair. And we just want to say... Welcome. 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 Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now guys, can you see anything different? I mean, other than the face beat, we had to go like twat, twat, twat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, so if you guys haven't noticed already, like we decided to color Tally. our hair and using Kaboom. And this is the purpose for this video. Like, we are going to show you guys how she went to Red, Red Riding Hood and she went to Black Panther. Okay, so without further ado, let go. So on the right, I'm using the Inecto Relaxer Friendly Raspberry Deep Red Color. And on the left, I'll be using the Inecto Henna Dye. Now, as you guys can see, it actually comes in three sachets. Um, this is a powder consistency, so I will be using some water to actually mix it into a nice paste. I will only be using two sachets and a bit of water. I don't want it to be too runny or too drippy. So I'm going to limit also the amount of water that I use. And then I'm just going to mix it into a nice thick paste. So I'm simply showing you guys the contents of my box and my color and cream has already been pre-mixed so I'm good to go. I previously decided to put some highlights into my hair but it was a complete mess that you guys can see so I decided to go back to black. And I was just simply bored and I wanted to go red. Now I'm applying the shea butter to my hairline and my ears because I don't want it to stain. Alternatively if you don't have any shea butter you can use some good old Vaseline and this will prevent or help that your hair doesn't or your forehead doesn't stain as bad. So here we are simply just sectioning our hair into sections as this will make the application process a little bit easier. In the boxes, Inetto provides you with some nice gloves so don't forget to put them on and protect your hands. Let the fun and games begin. As you guys can see, the henna has actually taken quite nicely. It has turned into a nice thick consistency. And I'm just gonna apply it onto my hair and make sure that I put it nicely onto all the highlighted areas. I just have to say that this process is quite messy. Okay, so for Team Red, I'm not going to be using the applicator brush because I just felt like my hands could probably do the job quicker. And yeah, so I was actually racing with Jay to see who would actually finish up quicker. So we'll see. May the best man win. Or woman. <laughs> So here we are simply putting on plastic bags on our hair so that the dye doesn't dry on our hair and although the recommended time is 15 minutes we actually left it on for one hour.
after one hour has passed you simply rinse the dye out with some lukewarm water make sure that you thoroughly rinse it out and yeah that's it We decided not to use any shampoo. We are simply going to co-wash our hair with some conditioner. If you want to use a shampoo, that is totally fine. It's up to you. But for us, a co-wash was perfectly fine. Make sure you rinse out the dye from the plastic bag before reusing it and after 15 minutes or so you can proceed to rinse out the conditioner from your hair. Perfect. 